Hello everybody, welcome back to Jaguar Project. As you can see it's very muddy, very dirty looking Jaguar. So we're going to give it a bit of a clean, see what we're working with. Um, in this sunlight you can see more of the bad repairs of the last previous owner, one of the owners has done. So we're just going to give it a good clean and see what it comes out like. Right, you're going to do the filming aren't you? Yeah, because you're the tripod, the mobile tripod. Now you thought I was going to use that sponge in there. No. No. Bend over and give you an injection. It's looking shiny, yeah? I just wonder how well he actually did look after this car. <coughs> uh, well, the owner I got it off of, it had a private plate on it. And uh, he took the private plate off and put on his uh, 4x4 he got now. And he looked after it quite well. Spent money on that and shock his overs and stuff like that. This would be a good way to test the see if there's any leaks. Well, yeah. <laughs> Get some more water in that water can afterwards. Alright, stay filming. Job, I absolutely hate doing it. It's washing cars. Washing cars? Washing cars, cleaning cars, inside now. Uh, I just hate it. I'm not saying it's gonna come up sh nice and shiny, but I'm not cleaner. 
the uh, real bad bits and pieces of what I need to do. Right, I'm I don't think they want to see three hours of me washing the car. No. If you want, we can take a break from the video and yeah, continue when it's done. Yeah, yeah. We'll, um, yeah, yeah, we'll stop it for a bit and then uh, we'll come back to you. Uh, so I'm going to crack on, wash this car. Um, We'll see what condition it comes up like, and then we'll show you more of the repairs that I need doing on the bodywork and stuff like that. So we'll come back to you in a short while. We rolling? Yeah, we're rolling. Right. Welcome back, everybody. All right, we've given it a bit of a clean, and uh, it does need one hell of a polish and a good cutting back. Well, cutting back more than anything, then a polish afterwards. Um, but now we can actually see. The worst parts of the car. Now it's been washed. We've got all the mud off it. We've got all the bird crap off it. This one we showed you yesterday, but there's a couple more marks. Not much. The odd few little specks, and some over there. Some just here. Well, we're not gonna respray the bonnet because it'd take take too much time up to do. So we're just gonna carefully clean these up and just touch them up with a paintbrush for now with just a dab of paint in, in the gaps um, just to make it look tidier like I said I'm not looking for concourse I'm just looking to keep the car tidy if I can eventually get another garage then well, I'll respray it um, this part somebody's had a gut repair on this at one time before because you can see their masking masked up masking tape lying down there and uh, They've tried to repair the corner and they've hit it again, whatever it was. I mean, even though I've washed it, I mean, you can see there's still dirt on the car. And what's really washing a second sun? Uh, and then we've got the repairs around here, which you can see better now, now the dirt's all off. And then that big ugly bit, what was down here, which is a big old chunk. Um, we'll see what that's like. We'll have to take the wing off, I reckon. Mirrors, lenses, oh, chipped, badly chipped. Well, I mean, I could, I could respray them, but I mean, for how much it is for the chrome, chrome ones, I mean, I think it's, I think, only about less than 30 quid to buy, I think, or maybe just over 30 pounds just for some chrome, chrome ones for the ones, so I might put them on. Right, the door. It's not too bad, apart from the moulding, there's a dent just there, I'm not worried about too much about that. It's a waste of time. You repair all these dents and you park it up in a car park and you get some Muppet getting out there and banging it, which happened just the other day. Well, it's your Mars car, wasn't it? Yeah. I noticed it as soon as we came back. Somebody Muppet had hit the side of the car. But, uh, yeah, that needs doing. That needs doing. This bit down here, is, it's been touched up. You can see the bad spray job somebody's done. In fact, there is a dent just there. If you, if you put your hand there, you can feel it. You put your hand there and feel that. You feel that. It's a crease just there. Feel it? It's just the door there. It's creased in a bit. It's there as well. I don't worry too much about that. But that one, I might be able to pull out, push out from the inside. I don't know until it's a door card off. Um, and a masking tape line again. Look. So this I need to do in. Um, this, well, this is the worst. This, the boot, and that really. I mean, look at that. It's, it's just quite bad really. So that I need that need all doing. But we'll do that probably next year. Get all that done because it's the wrong time now to do anything outside the house and the way of bodywork. Rear bumper is all scuffed. As you can see I've washed it once. Look, it wants washing again. Um it's all badly scuffed all around here. Over spray with the rear tailpipe. And just see it, see the green on it. Mm -hmm. If I go like that, like, see the green. Um, so they've tried touching it up there, look. 
so that that needle will do it. I mean this 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 piece of trim here. I mean I, I know it's not going to be perfect, but I might be able to do something with it. I might be able to. Um, it's got a crack in it just there. I might be able to straighten it out and get it back into some sort of shape. We took half a Frenchie with us as well on the greens, you know, sir? Yeah, I noticed that was going to spot out. Yeah. There's some bad bad marks around there, which I'll take the boot lid off and um, give it a good respray all together, really. I mean, you've got the finger right there, mate. And uh, same around this side. It's not too bad. The bumper just needs coming off. We're on there again. Let's do it. This wheel arch ain't too bad. Is it, you can see where it's been touched up. You can see where they've tried blended like up there. And just there you can see where it's been blended. But this side is it's reasonable. I'm not too worried about that. You can get that. I ain't worried too much about that, but I might be there. Just get that flattened down a little bit and put a bit of uh, a bit of lacquer in there to recover that back up. Just dab it in with a brush or something. Um, this side's all okay really. I don't think there's anything wrong with this side, mostly the other side, isn't it? Yeah. Just um, the um that little bit there. That little bit there that I need doing before it starts going into a big rust hole. But um yeah, ain't she ain't too bad. I mean, she's got a few parking dents here and there, but I mean, it's a car that's been well used. I mean, the wheels, I mean, we've washed them, but they still, they still look crap. But, um, you can see now where all, all the, where the alleys are uh, all corroding. That need clean off. I don't know or not to polish them or just respray them. What are we looking at now? Bumper bit. Yeah. That bit there. Well, we'll take the bumpers off because we'll repair all this all together. And um, it's easier to take them off if I can then get out the, all the scratches down there. There's a lot of scratches down there. And then I'll just respray all that. Like I said, we're not looking for a concourse, we're just looking for to keep it nice and tidy ish. Because it's an everyday car. It's not going to be locked away in the garage and then come out like when the sun's shining. This car is going to use. So that's basically about it on that, really. So I mean, I can use it now when um, when I find that motorbike to buy next year. Put the bike trailer on it. Away I go. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's all right for what it is. It's, it's not like I said before, isn't it? They're not too thirsty on petrol. I mean, you like it, don't you? Yeah. I mean, to be honest with you, I mean, I'd like to have used this tomorrow to go and pick Jamie up from camp. But that would have been quite cool. It would have been, yeah. It would have been up in the motorway then. <laughs> um, it's a lot more smoother drive, and it would have been nice to go down there. But the 75 has all been registered at the camp, so we've got to unfortunately take the 75. Sure, it's quite funny, they're all facing each other. Yeah. It's like the two, three rovers all picking on this jack. <laughs> yeah. Well, I only parked it in this way because that's the good side, the other side. <laughs> so that the, you know, it looks good when it comes round. I mean, that side looks cleaner. This side's the worst. <laughs> that's probably why the guy parked it up against the wall when he had it. Probably. But, um, yeah, we need to get that tire done. That tire on the back. Yeah. So we're just going to keep on giving it a bit of a clean up. We'll give it a clean up probably inside now as well. Probably clean the windows because they are a bit, a bit smeary inside. Give the lever. They won't show up on camera. No, they're, they're very smeary. The lever could do it a good treat in as well. But from problem. this distance it looks really good. It does, doesn't it? I mean, I, you know, it's, it's, it's an alright car. I mean, I, I'm happy with it. I mean, I mean, you go out and buy a Ford Focus or Ford Mondeo. I mean, it's it's a lovely little car if you want to like go off shopping and whatnot. But something like this, you want to go down the motorway. You want to go down the motorway in, in you know in comfort, not for not because it's a big car. It just feels nice and comfy. They're just quite well built. 
a Ford Focus or Ford Fiesta, I mean, they'll go down the motorway all right, you know, you probably feel all right yourself, I mean, you probably got so used to it, but I find them boring, uncomfortable. I mean, let's face it, I mean, half of this man is Ford. Yeah. I mean, you just see the key? It's a typical crappy old Ford key, look at that. That's an old Ford key. The key fob works. Does it? Yeah, all works, all the alarm works. And the 15 seconds. Oh yeah, because we tripped that when you brought that, didn't you? On as well. The other mobiliser, you put the chap, oh, I got off, I put new batteries in the other one, but it's obviously been dead for a long time, so it needs to be reset. And it's, a, we've looked up on the internet and most of the people, you, you know, we've got them on the internet and they're trying to show you how these things were, are Americans. Nothing against the Americans, but when it comes to Jags, they know nothing. Um, well, because they think their cars are like super duper high quality cars, don't they? But, um, I mean, we take the piss out of their cars when they come over here. It's like we, they take the piss out of Jags when they go over there. A friendly banter. Well, it is, yeah. yeah. I mean, I like American cars. I mean, I've had loads of American cars. But the worst thing is with American cars, especially the Camaros and the Pontiac Trans Ams, is that rear boot lid. Inside the boot, rust is away. That's the first thing that goes on. They're just uh, not protected enough from rust. But I mean, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a nice car to drive. It feels comfortable. I'm a bit gutted that we ain't got the original toolkit though under the bonnet. I was a bit upset. We didn't want stupid money for that on eBay. Did we? Yeah. I've got the original one that goes in the boot from my XJ40. But I mean, that's still on in its case and I don't want to take it out. I mean, the carpets won't do it. I mean, they won't tuck him back up. All oh, this one's coming off and putting back in there properly. I mean, uh, oh, it's all stretching all sides. Mm -hmm. I want to sort of that a bit more barren. We need to get that seat done, really. I might just stick my um, my seat cover over it, my uh, snap on one. Yeah. And then get this headlining done. I think that would probably be the first job I might do, actually, is get that headlining done. Because I had a chance to do the suspension and, like, all the parts in for that at the moment. So I've got to look to see which ball joints it is, because uh, they changed on a certain year. But this, as you can see, it's coming down further and further now, where we've been mucking about with it. So it needs um, second up. It's not ripped or nothing, that, and, and one good thing about it is, at least the owner had sense to put this, put this up in there. Which I, I done exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> I done exactly the same with the Series 3 Jag I had. But I didn't use a piece of uh, board like this, I used a piece of bamboo. And it altered it up just as good. I mean it keeps it up, I mean that's the main thing isn't it? But I mean you can see it's really, really down. But I mean, it's not, it's not ripped. There's no drawing pin holes in it, which I'm glad of that. But as you can see, in the last couple of days that have been here, it's come down even further, all around here, that's kind of, it's gone out of shape now. So we've got to try and get the shape back into it. So this is going to be uh, fun again. So I don't know how many of these I've redone in the past. But none of these um, hmm? the cards ain't scratched up at all. Apart from just little bits here. Oh, the kit panels? Yeah. Yeah, well, fine. Not too bad. The other side's better than this one. Though. This one's got the odd couple of scratches in it. Yeah. But they're, I reckon I could take them off, put them on the mop, and give them a good polish off. You've just got little bits of scuff on the door cuts. Yeah, I mean, some of that come off with some more sacred water, hopefully. It's proper clean. It. The armrest alright? Yeah, it's all nice and clean, actually. It's cold. It's cold, is it? Mm -hmm. It's cold. Yeah. I don't feel that. It's cold. Yeah, I feel yeah. it. Do you come out with some weird things? Bed rests are all, all working, all good. Are they removable ones or? Oh, I thought so. The seat belt is this. This seat belt I mean, it's got some muck on it. And that's a, a good clean. I mean, it's quite um. 
quite dirty and a bit black actually. And all round, all round the plastic keys around here. Does it still move up and down right? Yeah. Yeah, it locks. What about the actual seatbelt position? <laughs> well, we had to mend that though. That was. Don't know. Uh, yeah, near again. It's coming apart again. I want to glue in that does. But it's just easy you need mending, there's typical, typical bits of plastic on there, it breaks off. They still move. Oh yeah, they move, yeah. Is that in the position I had it? Yeah. Sure? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's alright, I mean, I'm just trying to really get, actually get and do some work on it properly now. And you're yeah. talking about the doors as well. What about the doors? They sound crisp when they close, they don't yeah, sound they do. rattling. They, they sound absolutely, well apart from that they might do a bit harder. I mean, they, they shut absolutely lovely. I mean, you, you have an old Series 1, Series 2, Series 3 jack, and the doors don't even shut as nice as that. They sound real bulky when they shut. I mean, that's like that's like a P6 Rover, that is. <laughs> I mean, to be honest with you, I think... Um, I think it's a pretty well put together car actually. I mean it ain't without its faults. I mean what car hasn't got its faults? I mean everybody slags off one another but nothing's uh, indestructible, it'll all break down. Something could break on it later on on any car. That's what gets on my nerves with people say I've got a brand new car, you've got an old car. But it's I mean, like give that car a couple of months it'll soon show its colours. Yeah. Well I've worked around brand new cars. I mean we've had them come off the docks. Brand new, off the ship, sorry, off the ship, to the company I work, and some of them are straight away. They got their engine, engine, engine management lights on, and they're in limp mode because it's like somebody's ratting the shit out of it and done some damage to the engine already. Oh, it's like the Evos. We had a load of Evos. Five years the Evos were hanging around at work, rusting away. They had to go through them all afterwards, do redo all the discs, the brake, you know, all the brakes need doing, it's like piles of rust in there. Are you filming a 75 now? Yeah. Can't leave that one out. Yeah, it needs another wash though. I mean, how many cars have you had that's in British Racing Green? Uh, well, I don't know about British Racing Green, but I've had a few cars which have been green. I had the Volvo, that was green. The S40 Turbo. That was I just a quick like car. that one. That was a quick car, very quick, but uncomfortable. Until the turbo hose fell off. Yeah. yeah that was when your mom was driving. <laughs> All the women drivers now are gonna come at us now. Yeah, probably I don't care. Um I had that MG midget, that was green. British racing green. Jamie liked that one, he wanted that one. Yeah, probably want this as well. Probably. As soon as he sits in it, he's like, where's the keys? Yeah, yeah. I'll probably let him drive it. When um, he comes home. He's meant to be taking me and your mum out for a meal, so I might let him drive that. Um, sure you can rely on him? Well, yeah, because I sat next to him, so I mean, if he puts his foot down, he'll punch his leg. <laughs> <laughs> he's already sent his car sideways on the roundabout because his back tyre had blown. What, Did you tell you that? Yeah. No, you didn't tell me that. Ooh. Well, you two went to America and you heard a Mustang and put its ring. Well, spun it. Yeah. Around. No, he didn't spin it. He actually did drift it. Well, you actually controlled it? Yeah. You told me you spun right round and they're facing the opposite way to the traffic. Nah, because I just wanted to wind them up. No, you can't yeah. rely on anybody. No, you actually did control it. No, it wasn't even a V8. No, that was the um, 2.4 EcoBoost. Yeah, but it wasn't even a V8. No. It was only a crappy thing. Yeah. It was the um, RS engine. I mean, I've been a Ford lover for years. And I don't know what what is wrong with Ford at the moment. They just don't make anything any good anymore. I mean, look at that ugly thing over there. I mean, that's, that's just ugly, isn't it? It's got no baboon to it anymore. I don't know what's the matter with cars today. They ain't got no character, no class. It's because they're all being made by young people that don't know about cars. Oh yeah, idiots who can't reverse park longer. 
So yeah, you've got the bleeping sensors, haven't you? Well, the bleeping sensors I don't mind, but it's when they, um, they got the that camera. new mounting where they, the car does it itself. Oh, the auto parking. Because park yeah. yeah, it can't drive for shit. But then um, it doesn't actually always do it 100% time, mm. like they say it does. Mm. So you've got a lot to look forward to, haven't you? Do you realise when you actually do pass your driving test, you, you're going to probably end up buying some crappy modern car? I'll be having the Fiat. No, that's me and my shopping car. No. Yeah, that's me and my You can't have that on the weekends. No, that's me and my shopping car. You can't get rid of that anyway. That was the last car we took your man out in. You would be getting rid of it. Hmm? You would be getting rid of it, yeah, would you? if I give it to you, you'll end up smashing it up because you're a typical youngster and you drive like crap and get all your mates in there, act like a bunch of morons and let's stay with that. And don't tell me you won't because I know what it's like because I've been there and I've done that. Why do you think I went through so many cars? I weren't always selling them. That's a nice angle. Even though it's boxy, it's still got curves. Yeah. Yeah, it's got a lovely, they got a lovely shape. This ain't the original one, though. This is a real old one. This is very old. This has come off another old Jag. I have got a bigger one than this, which I took, I put it on my XJS actually, and then took it back off before I sold it and put a little one like this on. That's probably what he's done. Yeah, I had a great big, I even got a gold one as well, an actual gold one. Which isn't going on this car. But it's bubbling now. It's called creation. Bubbling. Do you know back in, back in the 70s and the 80s, you can guarantee it most Jags had them ripped off. Yeah. Same with all the Bentleys and all that, wasn't it? Well, that and the VWs, and everybody used to, well, <laughs> especially the rappers. I mean, oh, a big VW around my neck and chain. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're nice cars. They're very nice cars. I mean, back, like I said, back, back in the old days, when I was growing up, the 70s and the 80s, I mean, Jaguars were it. I mean, if there's any chance, really, you know, when, if, if say I won the lottery tomorrow, I certainly wouldn't go out and waste my money buying a crappy supercar, like a Ferrari or a Lamborghini or anything. I ain't, I ain't interested in that rubbish. I'd go out. Get an E type? Buy. No, I wouldn't even get an E type. No? No, I wouldn't even get an E type. I, even though I like the E type, I wouldn't buy an E type. I'd go out and buy an XJC. Yeah. You don't even know what an XJC no. is. No. I know it's a Jag though, isn't it? Yeah, it's a Jag, yeah. It's a two door. Is it like the XJS? No. It's like an XJ6. Oh. But, well, they did it in a straight six engine. They've done the 4.2. And they also done the 5.3 V12. Yeah, that opens your eyebrows, do not it? Yeah, I'd like to get one. John Steed got one in the Avengers. You've watched the Avengers. Oh, right? yeah. The one with the, the, the body Avengers. kit. Yeah, the broad speed. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that's what I would have. If I won the one loads of money tomorrow, I'd go out and try and locate and buy one of those with a broad speed body kit. I'll probably buy an original one as well, just but it's gotta be V12 and it's gotta be manual. But then again if somebody offered me a straight six one, I'd probably just have it anyway. But, um, but they're just as good anyway the straight six. But I mean that'd be my first car. Second car, we would have to go to Australia to get How come? Because that's the only place you got. Oh. Is it the car I think it is? What car is it then? The one from Mad Max. Well, it's for, yeah, it is, it's not that one. No? No. Uh, I don't know. It's a Ford Fall car. Oh. But I want an XY, GT351. You don't know? No. It's just a square boxy thing really, but it won so much more of Australian racing. Wow. Well. You've got your mobile phone, check it out. These kids know nothing today, man. That's the second. Third car would be a Jensen Interceptor. But do you know those two cars I was talking about, the first one and the second one, I nearly bought. When? Oh, a long time ago now. Probably about. It's probably about ten years ago. That's when I was eight. Yeah. I actually nearly bought an XJC. It came on the market on, on eBay. And it was a black one. And I messaged, messaged the guy and said to him, what would you take for a quick sale? Get out of your way. I had the trailer and everything. 
and um, he never messaged back and I kept messaging and messaged him and then all of a sudden it went off eBay so I presume somebody beat me to it so it was a bit of a gutter over there and the second car which I nearly bought and I could have had it at a complete bargain you wouldn't believe how much I could have had that for 800 pound Jensen Interceptor 800 pound because the bloke needed it out of his garage all right I need to put them back together but so it was a barn find no, he, no. He, yeah, he had it in the garage. He took it for an MOT and he had something go wrong with the gearbox. Oh. But instead of just getting the gearbox fixed... He just tried to sell it? No, he took it all apart. Oh. He took the engine out, the gearbox out, and then decided to take all the interior out. Why, I do not know. And the car is just going to waste him an MOT on it. Instead of just doing a gearbox change? Yeah, it was just a I mean, simple gearbox change. And he said, take it all apart. Why? Why? Why take it all apart? We just got it MOT for God's sake. I just could have figured it out, but I could have had that for £800 because the guy was desperate to get rid of it. £800. And do you know the reason why I didn't buy that? Why? Because number one, I didn't have nowhere to put it. Oh. And number two, I just bought the XJ6 Series 3 I had. <laughs> yeah. Got around it. And you won't find stuff like that, man. Not come up like that. Hmm. And when you paid a fortune, right? For that P6. Years ago, you'd pick them up for peanut money, but now you wouldn't. They're all stupid money. Same with anything. Mark one Ganadas. Stupid money. Right? All becoming rare now though, isn't it? All become rare. It's all rare because the simple reasons it's even become even more rarer. It's because now it's tax and MOT exempt. Does it mean you ain't got MOT, have you? No. Just give it a little service yourself and that's it, isn't it? You need a bit more in service, don't you? I mean, even though it's MOT exempt, you really got to check it for yourself. I mean, you could be driving a death train. Yeah. That's the reason why I spent nearly a year. But do you realise it was this time last year I bought that P6 Rover? Yeah, it took, it took all this time. It hadn't been anywhere, it's only been there. It's been it's around the block. It. Huh? It's been around the block. Yeah, that's about it. Yeah, but if anything happened going around the block, like I say, like a tyre blew out or anything, it's there, isn't it? I would just drive it in on a bloody wheel if I got it. But if I took it out on that A38, A38 or an M5 motorway, and then flipping the tyre blew out, that's it, isn't it? It's stuck. Don't know, you don't know what's going to happen. You could lose control of the car, kill somebody, have it on your conscience because you're like, oh, that's stupid. Not like you. You would. Mm -hmm. If I threw the keys down and said, go on, take that jab around the block, you'd take it around the block, wouldn't you? Well, yeah. <laughs> you aren't you? Yeah. See? Now that'd be my stupidity now because then I'd give you the keys to drive a car without any license. If I had a license, I'd drive it. If you had a license, I'd yeah. let you have a go on it. I'll put you on the insurance and then you can drove it. Look, like it's thinking now, look, like the brain's thinking. Oh, look, I've got to put the cost money on and have a little bit of a Oh, now Dad said, oh, I can drive this car. What do you think Jamie gets away with it? It's a big right up. Because he's got more sense than them bother with girlfriends. I mean, how many girlfriends have you gone through at the moment? How many have you gone through at the moment? I don't know. Huh? Don't know. You don't know? Because you've been blown out more times in a windsock, haven't you? <laughs> haven't you? See, now, if you're in pressure trailing test, you can drive this. I'll let you drive it. I'm going to if I'm sat in there. You can drive it on your own. <laughs> <laughs> and I might let you drive that and all. I'll try that. I don't know what to do about the Rover 800. I've had it so long. Mm. It needs a wash, you know that. Mm. Anyway, well, I think we ought to wrap it up here anyway. So, because we've been rabbiting on for what now? 28 minutes. 28 minutes of me rabbiting on. And then plus the cleaning. And cleaning the car. Well, no, because you stopped it when I just started cleaning the roof, actually. Didn't you? Um, anyway, this, this is probably going to go down as part two anyway of the Jax J. I mean, they've got the mobile tripod. He's, he comes cheap and it's easier to work with. Um, I mean, it makes a change anyway because I'm rabbit, I'm rabbiting on, and I'm rabbiting on basically to you. Usually, I'm rabbiting on to the camera and I'm talking to myself right here because I ain't never got to listen. There's only the birds and the bees what listen to me, or the odd passing cat. Talking to your audience. Yeah, but you're there, aren't you? You in, you you keep coming back as a force with crap at your mouth, so. 
Yeah, see? You can answer that one, can you? Huh? Nice car, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Why, why do I put up with you? I really don't. I really don't. Why didn't you join the army as well, or join the navy or whatever? I wouldn't be a mobile tripod then. No, that's true. That is true. Yeah, that is true. Yeah. Yeah, because it is a pain in the ass, especially when I was underneath all the exhaust. I mean, I had to put it on a little toolbox. Yeah. So if you were there then, well, actually, if you were there, I would have got you underneath and all the nuts and bolts. Save me doing it, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would have. Yeah. When you're doing the suspension, then? Whenever it gets warmer. No, uh, working in the cold. Working in the cold. Working in the cold. Yeah, it's got to be done. It'll probably be next video then. Yeah, we'll probably. Well, no, probably next video will be the headline, and we'll get that done first because we need to order those parts and get that suspension done. Um. So it'll be headlining first, then headlining probably suspension. First, then it's probably suspension. Then tires. Well, no, we can do the tire as well, actually. Going again? Yeah. So it. You killed the camera again. No, it just does 30 minute clips. That's crap, I've had it longer than 30 minutes clips before. Oh no, that's probably the reason why it cut, because I was filming Jamie's car when I was doing the head gasket. So stripping all the engine apart. And I wondered why it kept cutting out. That's why I got fed up with it. I was going to throw it over there on that green actually. <laughs> Not but the car, the camera. <laughs> but before it cut out, we were talking about headlining. Headlining, yeah, we'll get the headlining done. That'll be the first job. In we could probably get the tyre done so we can get load tyre places. We need to get tyres done on that one as well, which I've got the tyres. It's just a case of taking them up and getting them swapped over. <clears throat> and then we can put a bit more petrol in it and then we'll go down the petrol station because that probably that little bit of petrol gets to the petrol station. <laughs> <laughs> always be coasting everywhere. Yeah, yeah it be like classic Britain always running out. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and then we can give it a run then on the V6. Because we're not going to really do any work on that now. We might do the starter motor because that really does need done. That's cheesing me off of it actually. But we won't do any body work. We'll just do the tyres, get that done. The starter motor, we'll take that off, get that looked at. I've got it really in it on that one really now. So to the next year and we can actually crack on body work. It's like this one, we'll get the body work done on this next year. But we'll crack on and get the headlining done first. We'll do the instrument panels because they need changing. Yeah. They need changing. Two of those need changing. So that can be done. The interior. Well, the one seat. The one seat. If we can find a seat. Maybe somebody might see this video and then look up and say, oh, i got one of these seats. That would be nice. That would be nice. Never goes my way like that. Always got to end up putting my hand in my pocket of fun stuff. Um, I can't think what else we need to do on it now. Apart from the objects of bodywork, I can't remember anything else. Uh, suspension, oh, well, suspension tires. Suspension, that rear tire. Oh, and that vent. Oh, that bloody... Why are you so worried about that vent? I don't sit in the back. Yeah, I do. Well, if you're at the driving test, you won't be sat in the back then, would you? <laughs> Isn't it? Why is it with kids today? They worry about girlfriends, they worry about the wrong things in life. I really, I really can't figure you out sometimes. Anyway, the mobile tripod is going to end it there. Um, if you like the video, then like and subscribe. Uh, we'll try and make it more interesting for you. Uh, not all the time is the mobile tripod going to be with me. Because he's going to be starting a new job soon. So, probably have to go back to the old ways of you listening to me rabbit onto myself. Right, like, subscribe. Thank you ever so much to everybody who subscribed at the moment. We're, I think we've rocketed up to 110, I think it is. Yeah, I think it's about somewhere. Yeah, it is, isn't it? 110. We've rocketed up to 110, which is absolutely brilliant. So I hope you like the video. I'm sorry I'm doing a lot of rabbiting on again. And I didn't show you much of the work being done on the car. But we've given you a good look around it again for the second time what work needs doing to it. So please like, subscribe, press that little bell. And hopefully, next time we do a video, we'll be actually doing some work on the car. And basically, yeah. Yeah. Ta-ta. So, yeah.